talking about is tacking. So uh, we also use another saying at Frontier Western Systems, and that is, I am the master, and every person right in our company is the master of our situation. And we don't want this membrane to be the master of us, so we uh, apply our control to this membrane. We don't want to let the membrane itself control us. So then therefore, I want to tack this membrane in place, but there's a problem with tacking. So if we come back up here, so if I have a constant weld that I'm going to put in right down on that straight line, and I have a tack point here and here, when the sheet flutters, it will want to pull up that spot and that spot. And when it does that, it tears the bottom of the membrane and will weaken the membrane. So you don't want to put tacks outside of your weld area. So tacks need to be included inside your weld area. So if you're going to have a tack, it's got to be inside your weld area right here. So I'm going to weld this. So I have a tack here. And I come down here and I want to have a tack over here. So my tack would be moved in a little bit. But what does that do? It shrinks the area of our weld. So what happens when you heat a smaller area? It heats up faster. So that means you have to move your heat gun potentially a little bit faster in those small areas. So we're going to demonstrate this straight pre-weld. And it seems like this gun is just a little bit cool. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Get the dog away. And so when I stick my heat gun in there, I basically roll over the nozzle. And I just roll back and forth. There's another benefit to doing a pre-weld this way, and that is if you have extra material on the top, you can actually push that membrane back, or those extra that extra material back into areas and split up wrinkles so you don't have a wrinkle all in one spot so i just come through and i do my pre-weld which is really just an air dam that's all we're looking for is an air dam so you can see that that gun is really cool so that goes back to another point of welding when you're welding on the roof you aren't going to make a whole bunch of test cuts in your welds to see if they're okay. So you need to do all your test welding before you start welding your actual seams. And so 100% before every job, make sure that you're welding at the right temperature for the temperature of the year. You know, it's winter time now, so it's a little bit cooler outside, so it's going to take a little bit longer different heat than it does in the summertime. So do your test welds, make sure your, your welding is okay because you want to feel confident that your welding is good. And okay, we're going to go to the tack weld and then we'll pre-weld. Alright, so now you can see that basically what I have is a straight line. Come up here, Matt. Mm -hmm. So, and right, right up here. So on the top, I can run my finger back and it's basically showing that I have a straight line air dam. And if I, if I did my weld like this, I would have that inconsistent waviness. And, I, and in my welding, I would have to, if I was welding with that inconsistent thing, I'd have to go slow and then fast and then slow and faster and slower and faster and slower and that's hard to do. Alright, so we're going to cut this video off and go back into the actual weld. <laughs>